In this example, we're going to find the value of k such that the line that's given by this equation is going to be tangent to the graph of the function. So we know a couple of things for this to be true. This function and this line have to have one point of intersection, and that's the point of tangency. Also, at that point of intersection, they have the same slopes. So the first thing we can do is to take the derivative of this function that will help us find slope. So k times, and we have x to the two-thirds, so we'll bring the two-thirds out front and then take one away from the power. So we have this, and let's go ahead and fix this up a little bit. So it looks like it'll be 2k over 3 times the cubed root of x. Okay, that's our derivative. And so we have the line here, and we know its slope is negative 2. All right, well, we have a few equations we can write. First of all, if this helps us find slope, and this is the slope, let's go ahead and set these two things equal to each other. So 2k over 3 times the cubed root of x equals negative 2. Also, at that point of tangency, the graph and the line intersect, so we can say kx to the 2 thirds equals negative 2x minus 8. So now we have a really nice system of equations, two variables, x and k, and two equations. So let's go ahead and solve. What would be the easiest way? Well, let's solve for k in this first equation and then substitute it into k in the second equation. All right, so we'll multiply both sides of this equation by 3 times the cubed root of x, and that will give us 2k equals negative 2 times 3 times the cubed root of x. Moving on, we have 2k equals negative 6 times the cubed root of x. Of course, we can divide both sides of that equation by 2, and k looks like negative 3 times the cubed root of x. Okay, well that's good stuff. Let's go ahead and take this negative 3 times the cubed root of x, which is equivalent to k, and plug them into the k, but in the other equation. So now I have negative 3 times the cubed root of x times x to the 2 thirds equals negative 2x minus 8. Well, this right here is really nice because the cubed root of x times x to the 2 thirds gives me a real x. Okay, so maybe let's add 2x to both sides. And a negative x equals negative 8. So, x equals 8. Very good, now that we know the value of x, let's plug it in and solve for k. So k equals negative 3 times the cubed root of 8. And of course the cubed root of 8 is 2. So k equals negative 6. Well, now that we have both our values, let's go ahead and wrap this problem up and talk about all the things we now know. So let's work our way back at the top. We now know that k is negative 6, so we can rewrite this function as f of x equals negative 6 x to the 2 thirds. And we're going to have that point of tangency which is going to be, well, the x equals 8. We could also go ahead and find the ordered pair if we wanted to. We could plug it into here, and we could find f of 8 would be negative 6 times 8 to the 2 thirds, and of course 8 to the 2 thirds will be 4. So the y value will be negative 24. So that ordered pair where the tangency occurs is 8, negative 24, and we now know that the line y equals negative 2x minus 8 is tangent to this function at this point.